asking you a question. What I, um, I went to the psych unit, uh, and um, they sent me for nine months, and I lost everything. Oh. Because he went, he was a, you fought in Afghanistan? Iraq. Iraq. He went, he went to Iraq. And that's a, another country where we had a war, Tanner. And then he needed, it was like really like yucky over there to have to fight that war. So he needed some help. And while he was getting the help, then he lost his home. Because he couldn't pay the bills. You see about that? My son has Prater Willie syndrome and um, kind of autistic like. So, thank you so much. He would be on this side. I said I was gonna call him. No, you're not gonna yell out the window. I'm I just, can't. I'm just gonna look in there and see if I see him anywhere. Look, Oscar! His name's not Oscar, was it? Oh, was. No, it wasn't. Is it was? I said Oscar. Yes. Twice. What? I said it twice. Seems like I said, oh, it's not, and then I said it's not Oscar. I said Oscar, and then I was like, oh no, that's not Oscar. It's. Is it Don Hall? No, I didn't say Donatello. Yes, I said Ralph, maybe. I was going to drive around and see if I see him. I'm just really bad with names. I think it's Ralph Lopez. Is that right? That sounds right. No, Ralph! No, you don't just yell Ralph. We just need to see if we can find him. If I can I'm gonna go see Ralph. him. Wow! Let's park right here and we'll walk over there and maybe there's a restroom we could use. Maybe he's around there somewhere. Okay, where's the parking thing? So I'm looking to see if I see him anywhere. Oh well, let's go see if there's a bathroom to go to. And... There it goes. It wouldn't start. I bet he's like over there where all the people are. He'd be over here somewhere. I was just thinking he might be that way. Remember what he looks like? Why? So you can be looking for him? No. 
You don't remember what he looks like? No. He had a teal, a bluish shirt on and that hat that said veteran, that black hat. And he had the name badge on him. A lot of pigeons. No, they don't let him go in unless you pay to go in and he doesn't have money to pay to go in. I was just seeing if he was right around here. He might have left like to go on a bus or something like back to wherever the shelter is that he stays at. Might have taken too long. Be over there, across that bridge. I don't know what that monument is. It's a nice little fountain area. I couldn't think of what to call it. That's why I was like, it's a nice little. Uh, uh, what do you think that thing is called? Is that a fountain? It's a pond with a something in the middle. Are you okay? Oh. I'm gonna go find a bathroom. What are you thinking of? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Restrooms. Right here. Perfect. Because then we'll have a farther way to walk back. You know that, so right? This is for Ralph. Yeah, but I'm wondering if it would be for Ralph better if we went and turned the car on and drove around and looked for him. So we might could find him faster if he's even here. Let's go the other way. I, I have a feeling he might be around the corner the other side. Why? Because this goes all the way through the park real far and then we'll be stuck. So let's go this way. I have a feeling. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling he might be on just the other side over there somewhere. This is red light. I don't know, I'm not going sinking again. I know, it's so weird. It looks like we're in the water or something. It does. I gotta turn around. Cute little house is right there. That log cabin thing. Oh, 
Uh oh, they're coming after us. There's the elephant bones. Just waved at somebody. I wonder if they're just sitting out there from the hospital, it looks like. Do you ever gave up trying to find love? No. Thirty second honk. Like 32, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th. 30. 30. We get 32nd, like 31st, 32nd, 33rd. Do I get? Like my joke. Because you're seeing a 32nd honk. I 
and maybe it was because of Ralph, somebody else gets a good meal tonight. I'll have to eat that after someone else will want. Somebody else will want it. It's just me trying to find somebody I feel comfortable giving it to. a feeling like they're not going to hurt me or um, do something bad to go up to them and say, would you like this? I, I need to have a feeling, um, a sensor inside of me to find a nice person who really needs it, not someone who is just not really needing it and will get mad at me for even asking or something like that. So I'm looking. Okay, ma'am. And do you like milkshakes? Yes, ma'am. There you go. Okay. Thank you. God bless. You. God bless you too. All Have right. a good night. All right. Bye. Is it your first? Yes. I know what it was. I just been watching him. I've been going around and around. Sweet man. Hope he gets it. I hope he likes it. Cutie man. We did it, Tanner. Because of Ralph, someone got a good meal tonight. What do you think? You have any feelings about that? No. Not really? Was that kind of fun? Yeah. Yeah, well that's a good, that's a feeling. We found somebody who needed a meal. I hope so. Cause their buns are really good. Or the meat is really good. That's what's really gonna get them some nutrition in them. Well, I'll say a nice little prayer for him tonight that that's the beginning of something great for him. That he gets to, um, find more kindness and then be able to do something where he can make money and be on his own in his own little world we're so lucky Tanner like you and I and Taylor and dad we we have a way to get in the car in the morning and drive all the way to Houston where some people can't even find food to eat every day and they just sit on a bench all day long out in the heat and hope for somebody to help them so it's kind of like we need to shift our priorities to to think about those people that have that and then all the stuff we have like do we even need any more things probably not we probably need to go use our money and our time to help those who need help 